I tried making an entire game only using one script. So I started off by making a circle of platforms that the player will teleport to. Then in the middle, I added another platform as well as a path of laser. Then I had to add in every single teleport point one by one. And after all that, we now have the main base of the game. So I just finished building this lobby, which looks like a table for some reason. I also added in a text label that'll show the intermission, as well as one over here that'll show how much time is left in the game. Well, now it's time to script. So first of all, I'm going to make a couple variables, one for the lobby and one for the minigame folder. Then we're going to use a repeat loop, so it waits until there's at least one player in the game. Then for the intermission, we're using this for loop, which will count down from 10. And now we set the intermission text property by connecting this string of text to the countdown loop, which is what that letter I is for. Then once the intermission is over, we're going to get all the players in the game using a for loop. Then we get their humanoid root part and set the C-frame property to a random teleport point. Okay, so once the time is up, we should teleport over. Oh, great. Okay, I've come up with a new way of doing it, which should hopefully work this time. Please work. Come on. Yeah. So we're going to tween the laser's rotation by using cframe.angles and math.rad, which will rotate it by 180. Um, it should be working. Wait. Oh my god, it's spinning the wrong way. There we go, it's working now. Now we just need it to kill us when we actually touch it. So we can do that by using the touched event, and then check in if the thing that touched it has a humanoid, and if they do, then we set their health property to zero. Okay, so let's see if it all works properly. So, once the intermission is over, we teleport to the game, and now we have 30 seconds to try and survive. So we can jump over it, and if we touch a laser, then we die. So yeah, we actually made a working game only using one script. Anyway, check out this other video where I try making a game using a random wheel.